Good morning, cryptozoology with Dr. Daisy. It's bright and early here on the River Ness, and I'm starting my 10 day investigation into the Loch Ness Monster. So I'm all geared up. I got my new trail runner shoes that I had to buy in Inverness in Edinburgh because I made a very poor shoe choice. So I've got phones, I've got GoPros, I've got uh, binoculars, I've got everything you could need for an investigation. Today we're hiking 10 miles to Doris, the first stop on our Loch Ness 360 trail, uh, which should take us uh, by some of Loch Ness, but we're starting here on the River Ness. So one thing a lot of people forget about Loch Ness is it's not just a lake, it's fed here by the River Ness, which comes from the Moray Firth which comes from the North Sea. So anything that can be found in the North Sea can pretty easily make its way into Loch Ness. So something to consider when we're looking for animals in the Loch is anything from the North Sea could have pretty easily gotten in there. So uh, things like dolphins and seals are regularly spotted and could be mistaken for Nessie. So that's something that we'll be talking about throughout the next 10 days. Um, but today we're just gonna get a nice easy start walking down the River Ness and we'll make it down to the lock. And then I will probably post again when we make it down uh, to the trailhead down there. Um, and then tonight I'll see you all in Doris, which is right on the shores of Loch Ness. And we should get there mid-afternoon and have plenty of time to spend looking for Nessie this afternoon. Uh, and I will be presenting some theories throughout the next 10 days about what Nessie might be and hopefully we'll see some good stuff on the lock. So excited to get started this morning and I'll see you guys throughout the day. Bye!